All right, well, uh, hello and welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Today, we are going to check out a CG environment. And um, here's kind of what I have as a starting point. I'm going to play this through. This is just a quick time movie. I don't know how this is going to show up on YouTube, but as you can see, just have a, a kind of a craft coming through the air there. And uh, there it is. It's doing its thing. But you'll notice there's some immediate problems. Um, if you look at the uh, flickering, it's flickering. We don't like the flickering. Um, a lot of times what will happen if you're using paint effects strokes, uh, sort of like a, a paint effects. I created this tree and all of this foliage from uh, a paint effects strokes. And um, typically you want to be careful with what you assign to your shadows in these various areas. The light is affecting the shadows and then also the, the paint effect strokes um, can affect the shadows. So anyway, that's um, one problem. But as you can see here, I have some simple elements. I just have a plane. I have actually three planes, one here, a plane here, and a plane here for our um, foreground. And then I just have some paint effect strokes that I painted in some of this foliage and created this uh, tree. So pretty basic. Um, let's take a look at what it uh, looks like in Maya. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, let's see what it looks like in here. OK, as you'll notice, I have high quality rendering on. And I've got my textures turned on, and I have my lights turned on. And so essentially, this is the view that I'm getting uh, as we we do this scene. And um, I created this just as a basic element to show you kind of like how simple creating a CG world can be by just um, using a couple of elements and a couple of different textures. And uh, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, in some cases, the simpler you make it, the better because um, the rendering times, um, if you have a lot of complicated stuff like shadows and shadow calculation and you know effects and particles and you know collisions and things like that, it can really um, can really mess with your render times. okay? So that's just something to be aware of. We're not really going to be creating anything today, but what I wanted to show you is just how this um, how this kind of scene is set up and how simple it can be. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and get out of my high quality rendering. So I'll just switch to like default. And I'm going to turn off my lights and my textures. And I think what I'll do in this case is go back to my perspective camera so we can just sort of, you know, take a look around the scene and see what's going on here. At its core, you'll see that, um, you know, it's just a couple of planes. <laughs> really super simple planes. And all I did was just sort of you know, selected the plane and, uh, you know, maybe went, I went into the ver vertex mode a lot and just, you know, sort of chose some vertexes. Like, let's say I grabbed those and I just sort of moved them up and down and just, you know, distorted the geometry a little bit. So real simple. Just create a plane, create some more planes, pull some uh, vertexes out and, uh, you know, you get the idea. It's, it's pretty simple. So anyway, that's kind of the start of it. Um, and then um, basically just went into paint effects and, you know, drew some paint effects on here. There's some tutorials on that if you want to learn how to create some paint effects. So go back and look at the other tutorials. But, you know, essentially that's all it is. And, um, you know, the next element I have going on out here actually that's kind of interesting is this spotlight. Now, you remember the flickering that we saw with this scene in the uh, movie that uh, I just output that render. Let's take a look at what's happening with this light. Well, you know, you can see where it's it's sort of cruising across the sky and it's sort of mimicking okay. Well, let's turn on <laughs> let's turn on that light. Okay. Now I turn on that light. Now now we can probably see the effect. Um you know, it's coming across the landscape. It's lighting it up and it's moving across the sky, kind of like uh, what this craft would be doing if it were, you know, on fire and coming across a field. So that's pretty much as simple as it gets. This light right up here is just my overall sort of point light. Um, it's just casting a glow over everything. And, um, you know, that's about all it does is provide a, a basic bed of lighting so that some of these um, uh, surfaces can pick up the shadowing and stuff like that. So that's all that's doing. 
And then, you know, I have a sphere, this little guy back here, that's my um, sphere or, you know, the, the craft that's coming through the sky. And that's the actual, you know, the effect, the smoke effect. Yeah, it's on, I just assigned some fire to it. So that's all there is going there. So let's take a spin around the scene. I'm going to go ahead and turn my lights off. And, um, well, yeah, let's, let's just look and see what's going on here. Um, you can see where I have these arranged sort of, you know, all over the place. Um, it, it really works for your composition. What you have to do is, is think of your composition, um, you know, like, like how the camera is going to be set. Like in this case, I, I picked a set, you know, camera angle, and I already set that up in, um, in camera one. So essentially, this is my camera angle. And, um, you know, if I play it through, uh, that just sort of gives me an idea, you know, of the composition of the scene. Um, eventually, there will be, uh, in After Effects, somebody composited in here to be looking up here. But in this case, it's just, um, this is what we're getting with Maya um, in the beginning. So nothing complicated there. Um, that's just your, your, your scene. So I'm going to go back to my perspective, and we'll take another spin around here. We'll go in here, and as you can see... I have underneath here, I'm going to add a waterfall coming off of here with some particles, but in order to do that, I wanted to create a bed down here with like a starting position. So anyway, that's going to be a particles effect added. So anyway, pretty simple. Um, but essentially, that's the, the key to creating a scene is just thinking about what kind of geometry you need and where, and then just, um, you know, kind of deforming it to, to match that. Now. What I did to these to get the uh, actual, uh, let me see if I can go here. Uh, I'm gonna hide my, um, to get this color, this gradation, I just assigned a, uh, a ramp shader, just a, a regular ramp shader through the hypershade to these planes. And then I also assigned them a, a 2D bump or maybe a 3D bump, I don't know, but just a simple bump node. Um, and uh, that was it. So let's take a maybe a little closer look at that. Um, I'll go in here to my renderer and let's go back to our, our high quality rendering. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my textures and let's take a closer look at those. As you can see, um, you know, after I got done deforming these geometry, I just assigned them a ramp shader. And uh, I think I could probably go in here and find that in the hypershade. And uh, Wait till that pops up, and there's my ramp. Um, you know, it's just a simple ramp. Uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing too uh, too complicated. So um, go back to your uh, tutorials there and find out how to uh, assign and uh, change a ramp texture. So anyway, that's it. And um, let's get back into the scene here. I uh, animated the light uh, up here. This light is animated, so I just basically keyframed it. Uh, I'll go ahead and just hit play. And you can see where, here's my keyframes down here. It moves in, in a distance from up here, across the scene, and over, okay? So here's where you get in trouble with something like this. Remember the flickering that we saw? Well, the flickering is actually caused by um, you know, this spotlight moving across a scene and then having our shadows enabled for this light to throw the shadows over all of these paint effect strokes. Now, if you think about it, the light above is coming across all these thousands and thousands of surfaces. And so Maya is having to recalculate a, a ton of information to, you know, actually mimic a, a, a shadow effect of a light passing over a tree. I mean, that's a that's a ton of information, no matter how you look at it. So in this case, um, I chose that light. And to get rid of the flickering, I basically have just come down. And it had depth map shadows enabled before. And now I just disabled this. So you know, I, I made sure there was not a checkbox in here. So this light effectively is not casting any shadows. But it doesn't really matter because this is such a fast, um, you know, it's a fast animation. 
and it, I, I don't really need to have a differential in the shadows flowing across the surface down here so that's something really to be aware of and you know you can come into your your actual pain effect strokes and you can also adjust the shadows in here um, if I go over here you know I can kinda say okay well yes this object will cast shadows but really the only light that's affecting those shadows is this light up here which is my main scene point light um, so I don't really have moving shadows um, calculated it, it's more or less an effect of the you know uh, it's trickery <laughs> you know uh, this is lighting up the scene so you're not really going to notice a differential in shadows down here when your your eye is really drawn to something more like what's going on up here and if I switch back into the uh, let's go back into the camera mode um, I'll, I'll go ahead and play through this and so as it comes through the scene oh I'm gonna turn my lights on yeah make sure you turn your lights on <laughs> okay so when it when it, you look at the scene you know the light comes through and it'll eventually just sort of light everything up real quick like a flash and then it'll go go by this of course is not quite real time because there's some um, you know there's pain effect strokes in the scene so anyway if it's coming through there and let's just stop there I'm just gonna go and do a, a quick render and um, let's see how long that render takes my render is over here on the other uh, over here so let's bring it over here and here we go and I'm on a Maya software render because I have pain effect strokes you know in this scene so let's just say it's still rendering so it'll take a while to render um, a thing like this if you have particles and pain effect strokes and shadows and some other things going on so um, you know just be aware of that and if you start adding particles and you know say a waterfall coming off of here down to here um, you're gonna be looking at significantly higher um, render times so anyway that's kind of what I can expect from an overall view or an overall you know kind of uh, tonality as this thing passes over that's in a bright spot right there and um, you know I can kind of tell from this just single render um, single frame that it'll probably be okay that, that because I turn those shadows off now it won't start throwing out that it, it won't flicker so we got rid of the flicker by just being being aware of you know what our lights are doing and how we have our shadows assigned to the paint effect strokes so that's just some quick tips on building a CG environment and uh, you know that's the basics this could use a lot of different uh, <laughs> it could use a lot of improvement but anyway it's about the concept and your imagination so you know take this concept and your imagination and you can create anything that you can think of all right so um, there you go so once again hey thanks for uh, stopping in for another tutorial and learning something uh, I commend you and uh, <laughs> Have a great weekend, and um, thanks for watching. And as always, uh, read a book, learn something every day, and be the best person you can possibly be. All right, so thanks for watching.